Okay, guys, with step three, here we go. Now, we still have our fasteners here, and I want you to hold on to those. So just put those aside. Now, what we're going to do is I want you to go and find your VTX, okay? Remember, this is your video transmitter, and on the bottom here, it's telling you exactly what the wires that you're about to plug in, what they're for. We're not going to use the last two wires, so if you look at your plug, there's two wires that have been removed. What we're looking for is we're looking for the uh, ability to remotely change the channels, which is what the RX is for. We can look for your battery positive, which is basically the power coming from the battery here. The battery ground, again, coming from the black wire, and then your video. Now, that's going to be the, the flight controller here gives off uh, uh, what we call OSD, which is on-screen display. You can add your battery voltage, your the name of your drone, all that you can see in your goggles or on your screen. And that's what uh, is going to be where this wire is going to be going to a part on the, on the uh, drone, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and I want you to look at the setting here set up just like this with the antenna on the back. That's this little circle right here and the uh, plug-in port on the front. So again, if this is the front of your drone, you have your plug on the, on the front here and you have your antenna circle on the back. And just for reference, you should have, you should have a one uh, button here, one press button switch here and one on this side. But again, make sure that the plug is facing the front of the drone just like this and just set it on there, okay? Once you set that on there, go ahead and take your fasteners, the four fasteners that we had, and just gently put them on there and try to screw them on there. Just finger tighten them, nothing special. All right, just go ahead and put them on, sit them on there just like that, and then just finger tighten them. We're not going to tighten this board down just yet uh, because we may have to make some adjustments, so let's just go ahead and do it just like this. Okay, and there we go. Once you have these on, let me put them down just a little bit so they don't accidentally spin backwards and fall off. All right, but once you have this done, you're, you're ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is, only thing we wanna do here is, let's go ahead and plug in our plug for our VTX, and that'll be one piece that we've got now out of the way, all right? So I've, I've wound these cables up for you guys. They should be pretty good. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go ahead and plug these in, right? And what we wanna do is, let me just make sure we've got this ready. So if you look at your plug right here, if you look at one side, you're gonna see all these little slits and tabs in it. If you look at the other side, it's just flat and solid. The flat and solid side is gonna be the side going up. And to verify that, you should see this blue wire right here. That blue wire should be towards the USB side, okay? Uh, it should be on the edge right there. So if you try to put it in this way, it's not gonna go. You need to put it in just like that. Plug that in. Once it's in, take your cable, just like this. See now, because we put the fasteners on, this isn't gonna come off. Take your cable and just gently, just to make it clean, just kind of twist it lightly, just like that. When you wind it up, that's gonna save you from having cable all over the place, okay? Guys, that is your VTX setup and your flight controller setup, and we're gonna stop right there. <coughs> Excuse me, just check and make sure that it looks like this, all right? And I'll give you a close-up here. Let me zoom in real quickly. <coughs> just like that, okay? So we've got our wire here that's plugged in. We've got our fasteners on here. And you can see everything here is set up. Looking around it. All right. And that's it. Now we're going to get ready. Let me zoom back out. And we're going to get ready to go to our next step, which is going to be to add uh, our camera. And then we're going to add... Uh, yeah, we're gonna add our camera. I guess we had a camera. You know what, we'll add the motors first and then we'll add the camera because we're gonna to need to tape down these motor wires, okay? So I'll be back in just a little bit, guys.